Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video series of Spring Boot tutorial. So, this is the very first video in uh, introduction to a Spring Boot and here we'll see uh, why a Spring Boot is so important and what are the features which is provided by the, I mean, uh, a Spring Boot which helps the developer to uh, make the development uh, process faster right so a spring has been a great framework for years however it had few drawbacks in this video series and introduction to a spring boot we will see how a spring boot has not only addressed the drawbacks but also supports modern software architecture a spring a spring boot is around for uh, some time now i had started working using a spring boot few years ago now at the time of this video tutorial the latest version is 1.5.4 uh, this uh, tutorial uh, would provide you an introduction to the spring boot and also how you uh, how to get started with it so mm, question is that why a spring boot even though a spring is a great framework it has few pitfalls a spring boot was built not just to address them it also provides direction to the future of software development a spring xml based configuration is a nightmare in the world of annotation there was no clear leader in the java framework world to support uh, microservices uh, what is microservices uh, we'll see uh, in next video series uh, you really don't want different teams building microservices to adapt different set of Java libraries and look very different to each other so we'll talk about the microservices and how to create uh, restful web services using a spring boot in next video series so as of now don't worry about that now next thing we'll we will would like to discuss what a spring boot brings to the table i mean what are the features which is provided by the spring boot now first uh, when we talk about the spring boot then you can say a spring boot is convention over configuration a spring boot has taken away all the xml based configurations and provided annotations for using the spring framework you can start your application with a very minimum annotation in no time this would be very helpful to uh, the developers the team productivity would greatly be impacted positively now next point we have in this slide is uh, standardization for microservices one of the main objective of a spring, a spring boot is to provide the unified ecosystem of libraries and standards for all the developers utilizing microservices methodologies any project adapting microservices would have multiple teams and we certainly don't want each of team to build the softwares in very different way the teams will be also benefits from all the annotations and tooling a spring boot brings however it also provides a common platform and a library support uh, spring has a, a spring has a also a, a spring has also reduced setup configuration time in the development environment uh, a spring boot also has a support of cloud support as well now next uh, point in this slide you can see uh, integrated server for development when we talk about the spring boot then a spring boot attaches a, a tomcat as well as jetty server with the compile jar using uh, maven or gradle uh, this helps the developer to uh, uh, developer to make faster the development process by using the integrated server uh, when you use a spring boot then in two to three minutes you uh, could build and test a restful web services from scratch that's the beauty of a spring boot now next uh, in this list you can see uh, spring also supports for cloud support right uh, spring boot provides cloud support for configuration tools and clients it's it, it is also 
compatible with cloud native and works seamlessly with cloud foundry pivotal etc now adapt and support for third party library so when you use a spring framework then a spring a spring boot then a spring boot has taken a significant step and widen support for third party open source library like netflix oss uh, no sql database distributed cache etc you will find a full list in the spring boot home page however the seamless integration using annotations is very powerful now finally after a lot of discussion if somebody ask you what is a spring boot then you can define in one sentence a spring boot a spring boot equal to a spring framework minus xml configuration plus integrated server so in this picture you can see i have sh shown you in pictorial format so you if this is your spring framework if you deduct a spring configuration file xml configuration file and you add capability of server and that's your spring boot right so if you work with the spring framework then you don't really need if you want to use uh, tomcat or jetty server then you don't really need to uh, uh, configure these servers explicitly because these two uh, uh, tomcat basically comes as a default uh, in a spring boot and if you want to configure jetty then i will show you in next video series how to configure jetty right so that already comes uh, comes with the spring boot itself right so that's all i have in this video and here is the uh, chrome browser and if you go to uh, url like start io start spring.io and if you press enter then you can see this home page this is called spring initializer page so using this in a spring initializer page you can create a spring boot application and and here you can see uh, your project is whether maven based or gradle based so basically in this video series uh, we'll see uh, uh, we'll see how to create a maven based uh, a spring boot application right here you can see the different versions of the uh, spring boot as of now so you can see these are the two stable version they have listed over here so 1.5.4 is the latest stable version and these are the two snapshot and if you can, you can see i mean a spring boot 2 that is not stable yet so most of the video series will uh, follow this 1.5.4 that is the stable version now how to create a, a spring boot application and uh, how we can here if you click over here then you can see a lot of things you can select whatever i mean that depends as a application or, or you must know i mean your project is going to dependent on what are the things right so and accordingly you need to select right right if you want to click uh, if you want to create a restful web services then you might uh, interested to select like web modules and if your application is interacting with the database then you if you come down then if you can see in the sql sections you have a different like uh, uh, spring with jdbc uh, spring jpa and all these things you can select from here right so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys so this was just an introductory uh, section on, on spring boot in next video series i'll show you i will create a very small application uh, right and there i can show you within a few minutes how we can create a, a spring restful web services and how we can uh, deploy and that would be a production grade project right when i say production grade then you really create a jar file or war file and directly you can deploy on the production right so spring boot is that much uh, that much efficient so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial